the first thing I would say is just, you know, it, it's tough. It's never easy, you know. Um, you know, waking up every day, your schedule is crazy. So if, if you're not ready for that, you know, it's, it's always going to be tough for you. But, um, you know, from the school to the basketball, it's, it's a lot of hard work. But if you can, if you can step up and, and be able to, to handle that, you'll be okay. It's tough, but it's exciting at the same time. Uh, like uh, one of my fellow teammates said, uh, you never know who's watching you. You don't, you don't know who knows you and uh, you're being watched. So that's one of the exciting things. And it's tough from the uh, standpoint of your schedule. Uh, you're starting sometimes as early as 7.30 and ending sometimes as late as 9. And uh, it's tough, but uh, it's what we signed up for. It's what we love. Basically, time management, I believe. Knowing when to complete your homework, trying to stay ahead of the game, trying to get in the gym to get up extra shots. It's hard, but I think if you really like put your best step forward, you should be able to do it. And it'll get easier as you get older because you learn and you mature. Well, first of all, you have to be academically sound. Um, you know, talking to Melissa all the time, she's not going to let you get away with C minuses. <laughs> Um, you know, she's always on top of her game for academics, and so we have to be. So that's one of the foundations. The second foundation is to always be in the gym. Um, she wants basketball heads is what she calls them. You know, she wants somebody that's committed to her and the program. She wants someone that will be dedicated and motivated to, you know, get better every day. Just utilizing the resources that are available to you. So tutors, utilizing the free hours that you have in order to study and things like that meeting up with classmates, um, just doing, going the extra mile to make sure that you're on top of your studies. Not at Houston, anywhere, there's always going to be distractions, especially in a big city like University of Houston, but uh, you know, you just got to stay focused, know what you're here for, and uh, you know, just complete what you're here to complete instead of getting sidetracked. Definitely time management, um, setting priorities, uh, not getting, you know, into some things that you don't need to get into that'll distract you or uh, make you lose your focus. Organization, you know, you have to put everything, you have to put prioritize things and you have to make sure you're organized to get things in on time and then be ready for practice. It's all about organization. You always have to put school first because, I mean, you are a student first and then an athlete next, but you know, I try to just balance them out, you know, if I get overwhelmed with school, you know, try to go to the gym, get up some shots. When I'm getting overwhelmed with basketball, I try to go, you know, put my head in a book or something. There's always, you know, the time management aspect. You have to learn time management. Um, but just in sports, have you, as you have goals, um, you have to have that in the classroom. Um, you know what I mean? Whether it's graduating early or having a certain GPA, you've got to have goals and, and expect to exceed those goals. And, and I think that's helped me, you know, bring the sport aspect into the classroom and be successful in both.